Oh, there we go. That'll work. Hi. So guess what time I regulated uh, doing my Facebook tonight? Nine o'clock. <laughs> Nine oh three to be exact. So um, a lot's happened in seven days for me, to be honest with you. And Kate and I just brought up something amazing, you know, with Kate leaving, it's as though she set our center into some kind of crazy whirlwind from the minute she basically said, okay, I'm going to go on sabbatical and I'm going to go um, do uh, virtual work from now on. It was as though somebody put our a fire under our business and our phone never has been busier our staff has never been lighter and we've never had more clients and we are very very blessed to be able to do this work and this last week has been um one of great depth for me and without breath i wouldn't be speaking to you right now i have had a very tough week i've lost a very good friend of mine the day after my birthday and uh, then her mom passed three days later of a broken heart. And I'm not telling you this to make you sad. I'm telling you this for two reasons. One is I want you to understand the importance of the heart and how important the heart is. And we talk about it a lot. And the fact that the physical body is really run by the heart. And if you hope in that emotional heart and you heal that heart, then the physical body will follow. But that's how important emotions are. And truly when my friend died, her mother passed three days later of a broken heart. And it was a shocking death for all of us, and it continues to. And only through breath do I find peace, because I know that my girl is right with me all the time, and I love her, and I'm so happy that she's in a, at a state of bliss forever now, and she's always connected to me, and I don't actually have to pick up the phone to talk to her, because she's been right with me um, since last Thursday. But the, the importance of breath that Kate's here to teach us tonight, if it wasn't for breath, I think this whole office would have exploded in the last seven to 10 days. And we have some new staff members coming on perhaps in the next few weeks, but we appreciate everybody's patience through this transitional time. But I blame Kate for all of it because she set us on this trajectory of like, oh yeah, you wanna see what it's like without me? Well, here you go. And. It's been fabulous, but the the breath is key, and and oftentimes even today I was really just slammed with clients one after another, and I said to a couple of my clients, I'll be right back. I'm going to take some cleansing <laughs> breaths, and I, and I'm going to come back and start because I don't want to bring in anything from the old into the new, and I do that all through breath. So Kate's going to give us three things that will help us, the three things that you get out of doing a good breath. Three things that will happen for you if you continue to do these great breath work. And just to let you know, Kate will be available again virtually. You can start setting up appointments for March. She is going to be around a little bit in February still. So thank you all. And I'm going to turn it over to Kate. I'll still be here. I'm gonna, I thought I was going to do camera work, but I don't have to. So I'll write things up for her. All right. And there she is. Hi. And I have one thing to say to you. Uh, don't make me cry. <laughs> Sa lang. Say? <laughs> he. He. Okay, say. Sa lang he. Oh. It means I love you. Wait, left ear, left ear. It means I love you in Korean. She just learned that as you remember. I just that. learned tonight because Silas asked me all the time how to say stuff in Korean. I have no idea why I, I think guess he, he you. think you started speaking Korean because you have a Korean friend. Well. <laughs> I'm not learning how to speak Korean because that took me five minutes and I still didn't do that good of a job. But that's sweet. So yeah. I leave it to my lovely heart-filled friend, confidant, and true, true, amazing partner in this world. So enjoy our Kate. Hi, everyone. It's a Kate, if you don't know me. Um, so Kelly already started all the talk about breathing, so I think, I don't know if it's the same thing, but this is a three tip that you can get better or you can be good at it. Because I heard all the time people say, I'm not good at breathing. <laughs> That's just something that I hear very frequently. And we already start with a little bit of a judgment to ourselves. I'm not good at breathing, I don't breathe well, all kind of a thing. So here's a really, simple three tip you can change that idea you can get better at breathing so first thing find a time to do it so 
even if it's a moment, even if it's like a minute or so, you don't need like a lot of time to practice breathing, do breathing. Because you try to make it time for like five a minute, I need to sit down, I need to prep thing. That's why we can't get it. So find a time. If you're really busy, you have a time to go to bathroom. You have a time to even take a sip of water. Those are the time you can use for breathing because like I don't know how long you're sitting in the bathroom but those time or if you really need to get out of a situation you say like I just need to go to bathroom quick that's the time you can really take a time to breathing so don't be overthinking about this breathing need a lot of prep and time so find the time start really small step from even time in the bathroom or a time when you drink water. So that's a great point because a lot of people say to me, I don't have time to meditate. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. And I just said tonight to one of our previous clients, right? I wish I could create more time. Trust me, I do. But you can find time. There's always time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes do it at a red light. Mm -hmm. I do it when I turn around. Like exactly. she says, it doesn't have to be, I'm going to go do my meditation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go do my breathing. It can be like, uh, hold on one second. I just I, I want to write a note. Exactly. It's just being conscious of mm -hmm. that breathing mm -hmm. and giving our moment, uh, uh, giving our bodies a moment to be conscious. Okay, I'm gonna exactly. try to let her talk. She's awesome. <laughs> exactly. So there's no excuse for a time matter for just breathing. How to get better at breathing? Because if you say you do like one minute for every day, that's better than not doing it. So okay? it could be anything from one minute yeah. to what, 10 minutes to start with? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, small step, awesome. start a small step. And then it's along the line, uh, she already mentioned, but let's, the second one, so number two is drop the technical part. Because once you're thinking about technical part, what kind of a technique I'm using? Do I have count breathing or all kind of a thing, or deep breathing, mouth breathing, nose breathing, all kind of a thing? We're just gonna let them see the list. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, she's gonna keep talking. Go ahead. Drop the technique. Drop the technique. Yeah. So, so if you, we, there is no yeah. right way to do it. Yeah, just to think as be just generous and gentle to what, how your breathing is. Just to drop the technique of it, just, do it, just aware of it. Actually, it's just a run together for third one, which is not the technique, just awareness. Awareness of the key of this, how to be good at. I don't like the word good at, but how you can think, change the idea of you are not bad at it. You can be good at breathing because here's the thing. It's all, we all have this idea. Whenever you try to do something, you want to be super good at it. Mm -hmm. We all do that and then you kind of find a way research how can I breathe what kind of a technique we have What do I need to prep or how do I sit all kind of a technique and you were thinking and sometimes when I do breathing session with a group session or something people will say it like but I think I'm doing wrong <laughs> I don't know. What am I doing? Am I doing right? Am I counting right? There is no wrong thing, but because we all individual have a different type of breathing there is a technique you can get it into more and more so that when you actually do the one minute thing, drop the technique, and then you're aware of it, then you will expand more. Oh, maybe I will try this technique to help a certain thing. But before all that. No, keep going. Yeah, before all that, that's actually more a matter to just be aware of it. And awareness is something that it's not like you're forcing it, just aware of it your breath and where they are literally without judgment without expectation so, so what you're saying is so i'm sitting at my desk at work and i find myself stressing out and what i'm going to do first is just be like okay i have 10 seconds i'm going to take a breath yeah and i'm just going to be aware that i haven't breathed in a while exactly. consciously mm -hmm. consciously that's what we're talking about because this does bring up a little bit of a comedian in me you know, I want to be a comedian in my next lifetime. And hello, everybody. Oh, my God, I have a family member watching. Oh, hi, Patty. Hello, everybody. Oh, all of you are family. Janet's really family. There's a lot of family on yeah. there. Andrea's family. <laughs> and a lot of good, great clients and some people I don't know, too. I love you all. Hello. Hello, hello. So, and somebody that just left. God bless your soul. <laughs> so, when this, this comedic part of me wants to say this, you're all really good at breathing. 
You know why? Because you're still here oh, and alive. Yeah, we're alive. My ongoing joke is all of our clients, when they walk in the door, they're breathing. So mm -hmm. we know that part's handled. We don't need to do anything. <clears throat> Pooping, sweating, peeing appropriately, bleeding appropriately. Okay, that's different. But why do I have a breath expert on staff? What I mean, she's a yoga master, but I've created her as a breath, a breath expert and a breathing expert. And it's a little bit of a funny term, but the reality is because she's conscious and she can teach us to be conscious. And when you're conscious, remember the four stages of learning. And if you don't remember them, I just decided that next week we're gonna go over the four stages of learning. Because you go through these four stages with everything you do. So the first step is just be aware of what you don't know. I guess we're gonna go over them now. We're not waiting till next week. The first <laughs> one is be aware that you're unconsciously Incompetent. Okay, we're gonna. Well, we'll get a new page somehow. Unconsciously incompetent. You don't know what you don't know. Okay. Then, so what she's saying for some of us is like, I didn't, wasn't even aware that I wasn't breathing mm -hmm. and conscious mm -hmm. of it, and I'm doing the shallow breathing versus deep breathing. So step one is be aware. Be, mm -hmm. I'm unconsciously incompetent. What yeah, Kate's aware. saying is. Be consciously incompetent. <laughs> it's okay to be like, I'm really aware that I don't know how to really deep breathe. Mm -hmm. I'm really aware that I don't know how to breathe up through my nose and control yeah. my breath. So and you gotta understand your body and then you gotta feel it, what's actually different in your body. And then here's the thing, if I just wanna say one thing, please. The awareness is something that, it's really good connection with the body because your body want to be here. Your, your body want to be seen and want to be heard. It's just a, something that you're always wanting for someone who loved, you know? It's basically the step of the love to yourself because your body is doing something that we're so not aware of it. And once you're aware of that, that's already changing so many things. Oh. And then think of that idea that you want your body and then your your mind and your breath is already heard from you and seen from you and then start to feeling get more understanding from you by just aware of your breath it's just a huge step it seems very insignificant but it's very significant in so many different level it's just so you gotta feel it the moment that you feel more understandable not from others just truly from yourself to yourself that's that's a really big step of this uh, breathing awareness. She so, got ready for a first step, actually. <laughs> and if anybody has questions about breathing or any techniques or tips you want, just shout out. We can actually see everybody for some reason this week. Yeah. <laughs> so here are the four steps of, of learning. Everything you do in life, you go through this. I don't care if it's driving a car. I don't care if it's putting on your makeup. I don't care if it's writing a paper or doing a technique or whatever the case may be. We all go through this. First, we are unconsciously incompetent. We don't know what we don't know. That you know, I remember the first time I tried to drive. It looks really easy when you watch somebody drive and then you get behind the wheel and you're like, uh, ask Kate. Uh, Kate just learned how to drive a little while. Uh, I don't, I don't know how to do this. It looks awkward, right? So then the second step is you become consciously incompetent. I can drive if I really think about it. I learned to drive on a stick shift. So if I really thought about it, I can I can really do it. Like writing backwards. Exactly. I can write backwards <laughs> yes. and upside. Yes. Oh, am I writing backwards? The writing is backwards. That's what she's saying. Uh -huh. Fran told me that. I don't know how to switch it. So somebody under 30 will have to come and show me. Because I'm probably we got to fill him incompetent about how to switch it. I really am conscious that I don't know how to switch it. And I haven't gone through the four stages of learning with it. Sorry. This, the third step is I'm con I can become consciously competent. If I think about it, I can do it. Right? And that's what Kate's saying. First step is awareness. Mm -hmm. Second step is let me consciously do it. Fourth step is I do it without thinking about it. And we see I and do it all the time. <sighs> he... That guy, I don't think he's taken a shallow breath in the 23 years that I've known. All mm -hmm. he does is take these nice deep breaths mm -hmm. always from his belly. Even when he's he's finding himself stressed, which yeah. I've seen a few times, I find him taking deep breaths. Yeah. And that's the, just a vibe that you get from the person who does that because 
it's such a just a groundingness and just a calmness that's what you would agree that when you see Ian, he's always that way so he feels so centered it feels so grounded so you get you get very comfortable with that person and then just like that when he's busy or like just a certain different scenario he's always there i think he just did that like the first one and then even though he does that nowadays with this his category and everything i think he's even consciously practicing other more a hundred percent since he yeah. started with his new teacher he's got a mentor for the first time in probably 20 years Young and bro. he is yeah. absolutely changing he's consciously changing he's doing <laughs> different breath work he's doing a lot of different things mm -hmm. and it's it's making him a more grounded happier even more, more yeah, centered even more. person it's amazing mm -hmm. so we all have the capacity to do this because we can all do it ready let's help him through it you teach us what do we do so let's just uh, ignore, uh, not ignore, what is the word, um, um, acknowledge, acknowledge, like acknowledge. So just where you are at, just to stop everything where you are at and where your breath at. And it's okay even if it's a shallow breath or deep breath or it's a little harder to breathe it's okay that's really important don't judge it because nobody want to get judged you don't judge yourself so just it's okay wherever you are that's part of you just where they are today so just understand that just watch them listen to them and seeing that and understanding that and from there just feel organic movement of your body your belly is going rise and fall and if there is any limitation, anything feel more limited, and just aware of that. And once again, that's okay. And that's not the part you should hate or dislike. It's the part actually you want to send the breath to. So change that idea more with the love and positive idea. This, this is it. This is basically just body awareness. You can do just like this in a bathroom or standing to just have a sip of the water or standing in line at a grocery yeah, store grocery store basically like where am i you were just like so thinking about how long this line is so thinking about how busy this life is then you get to actually standing doing nothing or you get to just have one moment to start to sip a glass of water that's the point just aware of where am i take a moment before yeah, how am i breathing and looking at this line, don't focus on the line there. Everybody's doing their job. So, okay, let me feel my feet. It's right here. I am at the whatever grocery. And let's just take a time to just watch myself. And if you get used to it, and if you get just do this, the line will go like this. You just yes, get true. so obsessed with just this feeling, the taste of aware of yourself. And somebody will say, it's your tongue. That's, that's gonna that's gonna happen and really it's it's one thing that it's very possible it get uncomfortable to even do that mm -hmm. because just so sort of everything just we do if you haven't done for a while if it's not something that you usually do it just feels so uncomfortable because you have to go through the stages again yeah but it gets easier the second time you do it it and gets the easier repetition is the mother of all or mm -hmm. as we know and you know you can, the the faster you go through the steps, mm -hmm. and the more often you go through the steps, the less the steps matter right. because then you just live it. Yeah, live it to lead it, as my friend Doctor Paul. And then said. it's really not about how difficult it is because think as like someone who never wears socks, and then ask them to wear socks. Right. How uncomfortable and weird it is, but it's not difficult thing to do right. at all. And somebody will think that it's just like, what's the matter to wearing socks? It's just like wearing socks. Or like if you never sleep with the socks and make them to, I can't really sleep with the socks. But it's not a matter of difficult or not. It just gets so uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. It's unusual. But if it's some change. Guy, yeah. If it's, it's some change. Yeah. So it's the change. Just, just aware of yourself. And we all want to change, right? That's what we're here. We're evolving. Mm -hmm. We're dynamic, ever mm -hmm. evolving, ever changing beings. And this is a great way for us to change, acknowledge our change, and move through our changes in life by continuing to breathe. It is. It is. And as I am, we've got to honor the fact that breath is the space 
that allows you to access your inner your inner being. Mm -hmm. We talk in, in our medicine about it's the space between the cells, and in a spiritual way, it's the space, the breath, it's the space between the heartbeats that indicates your heart rate variability. It's the space between the heartbeats that tells us how your sound of soul, how well you're doing with your sound of soul. Mm -hmm. It's the space between the breaths that allows the parasympathetics to engage. It's all about space. It is. So do you wanna just go back to what is F3 Scott? I'm so we... calm. <laughs> They've never seen me this calm. I think we can do whatever we want because I've got them all asleep with my calmness. <laughs> all right, so thank you for sticking with us or whoever watching in here, but let's just go back. So really, there's no excuse that about the time for breathing because you can really do any second, any moment in the red light, waiting for the line in the bathroom, just before you sip the water, before you eat anything, we do have time. So that's that's the first thing. And second thing, drop the technique. It's, it's just like drop the judgment, drop the ego. You don't need to be super good at doing something because if you try to good at, you try to do that super, I know something, I know so many techniques, that's not that what we wanna do. We just wanna listen to our body and listen to ourself. And last thing, it's all about awareness, it's the same thing. It's just awareness is a key. So just like she said, the first step of a thing, before you do go even further, let's just practice this one and all you need to do is aware of your breath. That's the right thing. Thank you, Kate. We You're love welcome. you. Aww. Thank you for inviting me for- Sa long hey. 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 <laughs> And thank you for inviting me Wednesday live. Absolutely. She did great, didn't she, everybody? Have a great night, everybody. Good night. Share with your friends. Get them to breathe. Thank you.